A really quick and easy strawberry sauce you could fold into whipped cream to make a strawberry mousse or cake frosting. Or simply spoon it on top of some vanilla ice cream or Oreo pancakes and other desserts. I really feel envious when people talk about sweet and juicy strawberries because I don't really like the tart kind we get around here. So you'll never catch me eating a bowl of strawberries and the same with other tart fruits like plums. So I was kind of happy to discover that I actually liked eating strawberries and plums when I cooked them and then kind of mashed them to make them a chunky sort of jam and then used it in this strawberry cake and in this plum and almond mousse. And since it is the strawberry season here, you may want to make this puree and even freeze some for later use. This is so simple, I can't really call it a recipe, but it's so versatile, I couldn't resist making a video of this. So we have some fresh strawberries here, which I have washed and uh, removed the stems and then roughly chopped them. We're going to take this in this uh, saucepan. And we add some sugar to the strawberries. You could alter the amount of sugar depending on the sweetness and the tartness of the fruit. And it's always better to use less sugar than more. You could always add some more sugar later if needed. And then a quarter of a uh, scraped vanilla bean goes into this. Now we put this on the heat. So we'll cook this on low heat for about 5 minutes. We need the strawberries really soft and almost mushy. Keep stirring once in a while. So once this is completely cooked, you could use it as it is or you could also just roughly mash it up with a fork or with the back of the uh, spoon if you want the bits and pieces of uh, fruit here and there in your mouth. You could also process this to make a really fine puree and also strain it if you do not want the seeds. At the end of it all, it's still going to be really thick and not watery at all. So it's not really going to be affecting the texture of your whipped cream if you do want to fold some of this sauce into the uh, whipped cream to use it as a filling or a frosting. So once the fruit is completely cooked and almost mushy, we are going to turn off the heat. You could refrigerate it for a couple of days and even freeze it for a couple of months.